Let's take a quick look at how you can create parking structures, such as a parking garage, inside of SiteOps, and then be able to use other models to create visualizations and some grading components. This is something we're asked a lot inside of SiteOps. You've been able to see how we do parking lots and roadways, and they want to say, how can I use that to further into something as a parking deck, parking garage, as such as you see on the screen. We're going to start by opening up SiteOps, and we're going to use it in a more of a traditional way. We're basically going to draw one parking lot for each level of the deck. So let's go in and draw a basic size. In this case, we're going to 243 by 417 uh, for the size of the deck. And as you see, instantly the parking spaces are drawn. Now, a lot of part of dealing with deck is where we have structural members, ramp, elevator shafts, and all the different components. So inside of SiteOps, we can start placing those objects. Now, what we're thinking about now is maybe I'm just on the top deck looking down, or maybe I'm starting the bottom going up. We're just going to show a quick example. I want to come in. I want to ramp right there. Okay, I don't want parking where that ramp is. I want to take it away. And I can copy and paste and move it. Now, again, that's a ramp that's interior. What if I want one on the exterior? Uh, such as the model we saw just a few moments ago. We're going to replicate that in SiteOps. I want to start drawing that actual area that is a ramp on the outside. So I'm going to draw some guidelines. Uh, one thing you want to do inside of SiteOps when you are doing such as a structure, this is a little non-normal for SiteOps. You want to come in and just use the tools that are there, such as breaking up the side of the parking lot. And in this case, it would be a deck. I want to know parking spaces there because that's going to be part of the drive access. Now I'm just going to simply come in, do some offsetting, trimming, filling, things that we are used to in any CAD tool. And we're going to go in and make an actual ramp on the outside of the building. Use the chain tool to come in and chain this area. And then I can give some requirements to it, such as material type slopes, all kinds of different controls that I might want to place on this, just as a, as a visual, just so I know what's going on. So now we've got an outer ramp, and in this case, this deck had one on the east side and had one on the south side, so we quickly created that. The thing is, this deck was about six stories big, so how do we duplicate this one parking level and then be able to interact with each other? This still becomes a little more manual. I'm going to copy and paste and move Again, just make multiple versions of the exact same area. So I'm going to move this up to the top. Then I'm going to copy and paste five other deck levels. So we'll just copy and paste these real quick. Now, again, this is going to be manual. So if I create an elevator shaft for one, one deck level, I'm going to have to manually copy it over to the next level. But the idea that it quickly changes parking and revises it for me, that's the time saver. But you'll see in the bottom left-hand corner, it is tracking all the deck parking spaces. So it's doing that for me. So as I'm changing from deck to deck in the lower left, when I need that certain area and a certain number of parking spaces, I'm able to track that as I'm working on the design. So if we want to come in now, and let's just go in and make some structural members. Now again, there's two structural members basically in doing a deck. There's one that's maybe at the intersection of parking spaces similar to this one that don't really have an effect on the parking space. They're small, they're you know usually bollards uh, size or maybe a little bit bigger, but we still park. Then there's going to be other ones that are not. So I want to bring in and just want to be able to represent this again on the lower level we're going to have it uh, going up and at the upper level we might not. So I can just quickly drop in these mimic them up to the top side, and I've done some structural uh, placement. Again, we're in conceptual phase. We don't really sometimes know everything at this point. We just want to again, give an idea. But what if I want to do something a little bigger now? It could be a bigger structural member, or in this case, we're going to look at how we're going to put in an elevator shaft. So if I go in and I look in, again, it can be anywhere in the project we want to look at. Let's just come right in this area, and I want to draw another area. Here we go. Now we've drawn the other area, similar to the one I did earlier for the ramp. It's going to come in, it's going to readjust, and we need to set this. But we're going to do one little extra thing. I'm going to come in. If you notice, do I need to get rid of that structural member so I can do some cleanup? There's a gap around the building. And what we need to do is we need to go in and tell it to control the aisles. 
and I'm going to give it just a very small half foot. There we go. So you can possibly be entering from each side of the elevator shaft in this case again, or it could be some kind of structural member that we want to work around. A lot of different ways to deal with things. And this is a quick overview that SiteOps can help you perform parking deck design. In this case, it may be just simple as let's copy and paste this. And again, this is going to go back to a little more manual. Uh, typically, like we do in your normal CAD tools, I want to copy and paste it and move it into place. And I'm going to have to do it. If there's an elevator shaft, I would have to do this on all levels. The beauty is once I go and copy and paste that exact same item, it will automatically revise it for me and move the parking spaces. And I don't have to worry about doing the aisle or any fixes like that. I'm done. And this is the beauty of SiteUps. If I want to move it, again, I can move it quickly and make changes. I'd have to manually go back and do all that movement. So I'll let you know that you can, by all means, and users do use SiteUps to do parking deck structures to make them work and come up again with a conceptual idea of what can fit. But then part of it is how do we convey this design to a client because it's hard for people to understand what a parking garage is going to look like. So once we've gone through and did a design similar to this in SiteUps, I brought in the blue building. We're going to grade this. You know, we're not worrying about each level at this point. We're looking at the building as in a mass form. You can see there's my cut and my fill, and I'm going to export on this project because we're uh, sort of tight around the deck that we're putting in. As you can see, it's below grade, so you can look at things at below grade. You can come in and simply add your geotech so that you can come in and see how subsoil conditions, such as rock, is going to affect that deck and how far can we go down before it becomes unrealistic to keep going into a, a sub-level parking deck and I need to go above ground. And then I want to start looking at how do we convey this again to the client. We've got a quick design, we've got some layout, you can export this into normal CAD programs, but there's two ways that people love to really push this out. One is they like to go to a published tool. I can add notes, I can push it straight out to a URL that I can send to my client where they can look at it, similar to a, a Google Earth. We're looking at Bing Map, we have our project in. You can see it in the community around it. It goes down to that one sub-level as we enter, put a few cars in. On the left, we have information about it, your parking spaces, everything we want to know. I got a budget. Do or don't have to show the client this in quantities. You can get an idea of what's happening on this project. And then we can go out to a more advanced visualization. If I had a model, for example, I can go out to Luminar T and I can take this to the next level. Once you take this out, you're going to be able to add traffic, trains moving down the track. We have the, the deck. Uh, we have cars moving. We have trees, shadows. They, the trees sway, sway in the wind. All kind of information. Even turn this into nighttime so you can get an idea of what it's going to look like when cars are going through the deck. How are they going to interact with each other? You can see this very easily in the model. So SiteOps is a great tool to help you do conceptual deck design and then be able to convey that to your client. So everybody on the team gets an understanding of the purpose and intent of your design. So go out, give SiteOps a try, free trials on Bentley.com, and have fun.